Hello and welcome to another screencast from NERCL based on the TurboNet Enterprise Platform version 2.8 release 15 How to log into a server We'll start by making the assumption you already have the TurboNet Dispatcher software already installed on your PC There are two ways to run this program either click on the desktop shortcut as illustrated here or you can navigate to the start or programs, go to Neocom version 2.8 and there we go upon selecting the option you get the startup screen should appear a couple of small things to notice on the startup splash screen you first of all got the Turbonet version 2.8 and also its build version. You connect to radio server screen now prompts you to ask the relevant details for your server. It's asking for an IP address for the radio server. In this particular case, I'll put the wrong one in just to illustrate what happens. I'll do dot 90. Uh, port number 4021 we will not change, that's a system port it can be changed but I would recommend you don't uh, username is the default admin username and also admin is the default admin password and obviously click OK I would expect failure at this point as you can see it's probably not responding here it'll probably time out for about 10-20 seconds And there we go. We have the small error there saying the client could not connect to the server on that IP address and also that port number. If I correct this error, dot twenty, click OK, we should have success. There you go. Bottom left hand corner of the screen is the IP address of the server you're currently connected to. Because I've connected as an administrator, there is no username or dispatcher name displayed on the online dispatcher share. That's this is demo one stroke Allen, which is the PC I pinched off Allen to use for this demonstration. Again on the bottom here, it's warning you that you're logged on as an administrator. And obviously again, the radio server IP address. We're just going to disconnect from the server now. There's another little feature which is quite useful if you log on as the same user time and time again from a particular client it's the connect on startup tick box you may have saw previously ticking this box means that every time I go onto this program it's not going to ask for the screen it's just going to automatically assume it's going to be admin admin as the username and password There we have it. To disconnect from the server, left click on the radio server button on the bottom left hand corner, request to connect to another radio server, it then brings up the splash screen, disconnect on start or, or untick the box, click OK. There we have it, and then close that down, Re reconnect, and it should, there we go, they should send me the prompt, so it shouldn't be automatic. I've already showed what happens if you put the wrong radio server IP address in. Uh, there are a couple quick basic things we can do to try and establish it. is it the program fault or the network fault. Close this down. We need to navigate to the command prompt on Windows 7. It should be within all programs, uh, accessories and there you go, command prompt. If we type in IP config space slash all will display the current IP environment what we're interested in is the local Ethernet adapter um, IP address 192.168.0.32 is my the client IP address I know the radio server is dot 20 
um, and again obviously you'll be on a valid subnet mask uh, and again there's a little bit of information about the default gateway which can be useful. Um, what we need to do now is try and ping the radio server from this level and so obviously use the so we'll ping 192.168.0. We'll say um, we'll say 90 because I don't think that's a valid IP address on my network, and we should get failures. There you go. Destination host unreachable. It will attempt that four times and declare its failure. We ping the right address. And there you go. 32 bytes of information took less than 1 millisecond, 9 milliseconds, 9 milliseconds again, 4 received, 0 lost if we can have success at this level we've got some hope we can connect to the radio server albeit no antivirus or port blocking programs hindering our way again just to recap on once you've connected to the graphical user interface if you've logged on as an administrator, which is just circled here, you will only get the computer name displayed here as the non-line dispatcher. If you log on correctly as a normal user, you'll get whatever name you've uh, defined within the administer section. Bottom left-hand corner shows you the IP address of the, radio, the cur currently connected radio server. In this particular instance, is 127.0.0.1, which is the local host IP address. That's for installations where the client and server is installed on the same PC, normally for demonstrations. And again, if you need any further details, please contact us. Thank you.